All right, what am I doing? Oh, turn off the grinder with your extra thin grinding wheel. I'm working, I'm not watching Scotty Kilmer salvage some used auto parts. I just greased my blazer, crawled underneath and looked at all the thick and rich fluid film. But I've got to work on this apartment so I can get some money because it goes out really fast and it's hard to get it back in. And I'm going to go look at a microwave for sale, a used one, so I can warm up some super tea. I bought this stainless steel range hood at Lowe's yesterday for a hundred bucks. And I look on Amazon and it's 80, exact same one. Problem with this range hood is when you buy the cheapie, they call it ductless, which means it blows the smoke back in your house, apartment, wherever you have it installed, which is stupid. They give you this little screen thing, which is supposed to filter crap. Anyhow, so what I do is I pop out the top punch out, which luckily this has pre perforated. Some of them don't even have it perforated anymore. And then I take the piece of steel and I, here's what I cut out of it. I'd already trimmed off five eighths of an inch and I stick it in here. But that's really hard to do. And when these used to be white, nowadays they're black and stainless or black stainless. You gotta buy black caulking and it's really hard to get your fingers in there and push it up against the back of this grill to block the grill so that you're not forcing greasy, fumy air into your house or apartment. You're forcing it through the duct that you've gotta complicatedly, new word, install. Anyways, I took this piece of tin that I popped out of there and I was gonna shove it in between the gap where this housing butts up against the range hood. And it went in part way and then it stopped and I said, oh, they've got the louvers punched to the inside. What do I do now? I can't remove this because it's spot welded on. I'm not drilling spot welds. So, hmm. What if I cut a slot with my trusty DeWalt grinder? And then I take the nicest end of this, which is that end, and I slide it into my slot, which is just behind the louvers, just like that. Then I silicone that in place. And now it's semi-sealed so that, well, it's, we'll call it semi-sealed. You can see it back there. It goes almost one end to the other. It misses eighth of an inch on both ends. I'll just silicone it and most of the smoke will go through here and some of it will return into the room, which was the way it was gonna be anyways. So I had to pop out that light, you just snap it in and out. And then I'll install it in the apartment that I am building in my cement block building, which is through this door. Yep, kitchen cabinets, painting, plastering, all kinds of nice work, electrical. It's a cement block building and it's freezing cold. So what I do is, Put the styrofoam up first, then you put the two by four. So this wall is gonna be, gonna cut those nails with a nice, strong demolition sawzall blade and move this wall one inch away so I can stick the styrofoam behind this wall because somebody wasn't listening. That styrofoam was supposed to go behind that wall. Well, let me move this wall away. Look at the jaws right there, see that? Cut all the nails all the way down and around and move the wall an inch away so we can stick the styrofoam behind it and have a thermal break between the cement block and the fiberglass insulation filter because that's all it is. This building has no insulation. I actually hung an inch of fiberglass in between the partitions. Yeah, right, like it does something. So this is supposed to go behind here. So I'll just cut these nails and create some more apartments. Need some old 5 8 sheetrock, that's all I use. 5 8 fire code sheetrock. No half inch sheetrock for me. I went to Lowe's yesterday to buy some supplies. $2,200 later, went there to get a boot for this to adapt that from 10 inches to 3 inches or 10 and 3 quarters to 4 inches, whatever it is. So there we go. That's how you make your ductless range hood into a ducted range hood. Not perfect. That thing can move around. Be nice if I could stick something in there. Maybe what I'll do is I'll put one or two screws in here, some self tappers, and that'll hold the duct from flopping the plate 
the block off plate. That's what I'm doing with my $100 range hood. 44 for a white one or 100 from Lowe's or 80 from Amazon. Free shipping. God bless Amazon. They rule the world, just like the new jelly bean cars. I like mine with steel bumpers. Thank you very much. Anybody want to finish fixing the roof? <laughs> Beautiful day for the end of February. All right, what am I doing? Oh, turn off the grinder with the extra thin grinding wheel. I'm working. I'm not watching Scotty Kilmer salvage some used auto parts. I just greased my blazer, crawled underneath, and looked at all the thick and rich fluid film. But I've got to work on this apartment so I can get some money because it goes out really fast and it's hard to get it back in. And I'm going to go look at a microwave for sale. I used one so I can warm up some super tea.